I would like to be a little bit different. Y'all know I'm kind of marched to the beat of a whole nother drum. So we're going to really get into some unique and intimate um, practices today when it comes to how to learn faster. So what I'm going to take you through is how to learn faster based on your unique design, because we're all different and we all learn differently. And it actually wasn't until I learned how I, how I learn, how I express, how I navigate in the world, instead of trying to listen to my parents, who I'm very different from, or listen to social media, who, you know, there's so many options there, but how, based on who you are, when you were born, your lifestyle, do you learn best? And that's what we're going to dive into today. And that's the system I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to talk about your unique way of learning via human design. So if you have your human design chart, you can go ahead and pull it up. I'm going to have mine pulled up at different parts so I can talk to you about it because I'm going to be honest, the first time I did human design, it was a lot. I was like, oh my gosh, like, what is this? It's a lot going on here until I met someone who could really break it down for me. And I'm going to break it down for you. Like they broke it down for me. Her name is Erin. You'll see her information on my human design chart. Um, if you want her contact, I'll share it with you. Um, there's also a human design workbook that you can get on Amazon. Um, you can Google it or you can DM me and I'll send you my direct link to it. But there's, there's ways to kind of navigate this. So even if it feels like, oh my goodness, this is good information, it's a lot, just know that when you break it down section by section, it really will help you learn faster. It will help you live from your authentic self. It will help you communicate better. I mean, there's so many benefits. All right, let's dive into it. So again, the most important thing is to understand how you learn uniquely. And as you, most of us learn through, you know, studying, reading books, apps, social media, YouTube University, and some of us learn through experiences like, you know, we want the life of the heart. And I like, you know what? I, I don't care what's out there. I'm just going to go and experience life and mess in everything that hurts me and just figure it out. Right. So usually our whole lives are a combination of both of those. We're, we're learning, we're researching. But at the end of the day, when you experience it for yourself, that's when you really get the feedback. So my perspective is that you can learn faster if number one, you journal what you learn. So the number one thing, if you have not already committed, you know, you got the journaling thing on this app. If you're not using it, if you're not journaling at home, the number one thing you can do every day to learn faster is journaling journaling about your experiences, journaling about like, okay, after this session, you know, some of you are good about leaving comments or sharing what you learned on social media. The more that you repeat, write down, teach to someone else what you learn, that's going to help you not just learn faster, but it's going to help you retain the knowledge. Because when I hear learn faster, it's not like learning how to speed read or something like that. I mean, you can always do that. But for me, it's not really about how much you learn. It's about how much you retain, right? So write that down. It's not about how much you learn, but how much you retain and then how much you actually apply. So not just about how much you learn, but how much you retain and how much you reply, um, apply. So how much you take action on. So we're going to get into the human design and I'm going to kind of take you through my human design and how I learned, um, how I operate breast. And this is to date helped me the most. Like I've had therapy, I've had coaches and there's a lot of information out there, but I have to say the human design has helped me understand myself better, understand how I communicate better and it's helped me learn faster. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen really quick and just kind of take you through when you do your home human design chart. For those of you who haven't done it, we're about half and half what you're going to see and then how to break it down. And of course, some fun stories behind um, what I've experienced. So let me just take you, this is kind of like the intro. What I'm looking at now is called my blueprint. So basically this is my whole life. When I was born, where I was born, that's the information that you need to pull up this chart. And so what I get in a blueprint or in your human design, depending on you know where you go, there's tons of sites out there, but you learn how you use your energy best. You know, you have to learn how you use your energy best in order to learn faster. 
because you might think, okay, I'm doing the Pomodoro method, which those of you who have my book, you know, I love that 25 minutes on 25 minutes off. I absolutely love it. But you might do better with two hours on two hours off based on your personality. This is going to help you figure it out what works best for you how you create opportunities. Okay, so we have a lot of coaches out there, right? Tons of coaches. I've had so many coaches from Brendan to Marie Forleo to um, uh, Queen of Fua to Anthony William. Like I've had some of the best people as coaches, but in those, like which ones have helped me the most? So the people that have helped me the most are the people that I've spent time with because I learn better in communication with people versus just like through a book. If I'm actually working with them one-on-one, I learn better. So I actually have learned through my human design how to create opportunities to actually work with people so that I can learn faster. So that's why I'm a part of Growth Day. I got the opportunity to join Brendan's Mastermind. And now I'm actually learning faster because I'm in connection with him because I realized that that's how I learn better. How you make decisions also affects how you learn. Because if you learn, let's say, okay, I know how to write a blog, right? But you have to know, okay, should I make my blog picture heavy? Should I make it text heavy? Should I make it video heavy? You have to discern what what helps you learn fastest? And also now we're going to jump to entrepreneurship just a little bit because I know all of you guys are entrepreneurs. How does your community learn best as well? Right? So find it out for you. And usually when you find it out for you, most of your people are similar to you and they just come along. But once you get into growing and expanding, you want to find out which, you know, I'm trying to blog with pictures, without pictures. Right now, we all know everyone learns faster via video. That's why TikTok is taking off. That's why um, reels are taking off. You want the quick information videos. And so that's something to look into when it comes to learning. How do you know you're on track? How do you know you're off track? I won't go through all of these because it would take us two hours. How do you best process stuff? How do you manifest your unique purpose? Um, how you get inspired. And so this is the centers right here. I think this is the most important part when it comes to learning fast, because you want to know how you get inspired. You're going to learn better. And for those of you who do feng shui, you know how important this is. You're going to learn better when your room is set up a certain way. Like me, I love my queen chair. I love plants in the room. I love a nice comfy couch that I can climb over on and just curl up with a book that I'm reading instead of sitting in a straight chair the whole time, right? So think about right now, how do you like your environment? Because if you're in a good environment, you might like to go outside, but make sure you're in an environment where you can learn and retain information. If you're uncomfortable, you're in a loud Starbucks. Hey, look, some people like loud Starbucks. It's people that like a lot of noise. Some people love it. But me in a loud Starbucks, I would never get anything done because I'm empathic. I'd be taking in conversations and emotions and all this stuff. Like I have to be in a quiet room by myself, lots of plants and lots of cushy stuff. Like I'm rubbing my foot on this, you know, um, faux rabbit fur <laughs> rug right now. So I have to feel good. It has to look good. And it has to have a lot of nature there. So how do you learn best? That's going to help you learn faster. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.